Hi Beauty Nisas! This is Shirley Super Hit Mama and it's time to share with you my May favorites. Um, before I move on into my favorites, I have to say that I'm also starting to do what I call rediscovery. The reason for that is because I realized that I've been so caught up with getting the next new thing, um, maybe drugstore or high-end, that I have forgotten and overlooked a lot of the stuff that I've bought that's already in my possession. So I went on a little rediscovery um, in the month of May and <laughs> I'm telling you I'm feeling so full as in I didn't realize I have so much stuff that I really really do not need to go and buy more stuff. However, I'm putting a disclaimer here. I am not going on a no buy but I'm saying I am going to devote more of my time rediscovering things that I've bought from the past. And so I want to share with you some of the new things that I bought and also some of the rediscover things that I've bought um, a while back. So let's get started. Okay, um, just kind of throw right out, no um, surprise here I guess, is my Urban Decay Naked Basics. This is an amazing little palette here. I mean. These colors, they might look simple, but do not underestimate them. What I'm wearing today is using entirely um, with this palette plus one rediscovered um, product. And that is my MAC Paint Pot Bear Study. So what I did is I applied this paint pot here, which is a beautiful, kind of like a gold base cream you know shadow that you put as a base and I literally put it all over my lid and then I went over the bear study with Venus right here and then the uh, obviously the crease I use naked two and the outer corner I combined these two colors which are faint and crave and then kind of smoke them out a little bit I am just loving this whole palette here. I'm going to zoom in and let you take a look at what I did with my eyes today. I just love it. And then the lower eyelashes, I actually did not line it because um, for some reason, I think maybe it's allergy, my eyes are watering a lot. So what I did is I just, again, used the same brush that I've been smoking out um, the Crave and Faint. Um, again, to use the same brush with these two colors. I just kind of line the bottom lashes and it works so far. So that's, that's what I've done. New product, rediscovered product. Moving on, my favorite face primer. I, I don't know why I stopped using it, but is the MAC Matte Face Primer here. It really mattified the face and now that you know we're edging into summer my t-zone is acting up again as in it's producing a lot more oil um, but my area around here is still dry so I'm definitely moving into combination skin and this was the one that I was using a lot um, and I don't know why I stopped using it but I rediscovered this again totally totally love it and then another rediscovered product it is rediscovered because I bought it quite a while back. It is the Bare Minerals Pressed Touch Up Veil in Ready SPF 15, and this is the translucent, translucent powder. Love it to set the under eye um, concealer. It doesn't cake up on me. And nowadays, I realize that I actually prefer to just set my T zone and the under eye, and just leaving the cheek area as it is because. I like the um, flexibility of using cream products. So if you were to set your face entirely with a powder and you want to go ahead and use a cream product, it it's the, the it becomes very blotchy. So always remember cream on cream or liquid on liquid, powder on powder. So if you put on and set your face with powder, it's not the best situation or the best canvas for you to go back in with either a liquid or a cream product. That's just my preference. So um, this translucent touch-up veil is just perfect for the t-zone and the under eye. Absolutely love it. New. Um, I got this as a sample 
back in December when Sephora was having all those fabulous, you know, palettes and NARS was giving out this little goodie bag sort of and in it has their Pro Prime Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. And let me tell you, like I'm saying, you know, like I'm saying I'm rediscovering things and this is actually sitting in my drawer. I have not opened it. I got it since December so I started using it and it's just fantastic. It has like a doe foot applicator and if you would apply it and just you know spread it out I guess it is clear. And I realized that I actually prefer my eyeshadow base to be clear instead of my Urban Decay Eden where you put a layer of it, no matter how thinly you spread out, there's still a, a coating of some kind of yellow base. Um, it never did bother me but until I tried NARS and I'm like, you know what, I like a clear base much better. And it really holds on to your color or your color really holds on to it, I should say. And it stay the whole day. Um, this past Sunday, which is a memorable weekend, I went to Manhattan and it was kind of windy and my eyes started tearing up. But guess what? My liner and my eyeshadow did not move. I mean, that proved itself. Okay, moving on, I'm going to go back to a rediscovery. I rediscovered my NARS lipstick. Yes, ladies, how often have you heard me talk about NARS, right? But little did I know, I actually have to NARS lipstick and this was my favorite last summer and I can't believe I completely forgot about it. This is Roman Holiday and it's this beautiful beautiful pink right here. See how beautiful this is? To me it's kind of like baby pink and it's just perfect with the way that I'm you know putting on my eye makeup nowadays using the uh, Naked Basics because it gives me the flexibility and the freedom to do whatever color I want on my lips and I actually have Roman Holiday beautiful pink this is the one so this is my rediscovered item uh, moving on I have new items here and one of them is this Benefit Sugarlicious and I have their high beam on. So like I said, I am just setting my T-zone so my cheek area is free from setting powder. And what I did was I used high beam, put a little bit dot dot dot, and then I use my small stipple brush from e.l.f. and buff it out. Look at the shine how subtle and beautiful. I, I just love it. It just gives me a very healthy glow. I feel so happy. <laughs> I feel like I look happy and glowing. And it's this high beam. I've also tried their tint over here. This I guess this is their rose tint. I really like it too. It gives your face a, a flush of color but not um, overpowering. And if you want a day with no makeup and just a little bit of uh, bronze and a little bit of glow, this whole kit is all you need. It has the high beam in it, right? It has this Benetint and then it has this bronzer here, which is just amazing when you go over it. It also has a lip balm or a lip gloss. I, I left it in my... Um, my purse because that's you can kind of just touch up and give you a very nice shine so I'm totally in love with this totally totally in love with this um, this is a new one the last two items are also new items and one of them is the MAC mineralized uh, mineralized rich divine choice this is I believe a very recent line and I think it's not a uh, limited edition. This is the color I have. Yes, I don't know why I'm going into this pink kick. So this is Roman Holiday and this one here is Divine Choice. They're almost identical. Almost. <laughs> Let me know if, if this seems identical to you. But anyway, this is Divine Choice and this is Roman Holiday from NARS. I totally love the uh, texture of this, it gives you, it really moisturizes your lips. My lips did not chapped, not once. And of course, I love this little magnetized package. Listen to it. 
Just saying. I get tickled by little things like that. Okay, last item. Need no introduction. It's the Milani uh, Statement Lip Stick. And this is a number 19 Raspberry Rush. Oh my gosh. This is such a pleasure to wear right here. Okay, do they all look the same? Or is this just my eyes giving me... I don't know. Please tell me. Leave a comment. Um, because, look, it does not quite look the same, but when I swatched it, it looked pretty, pretty similar. No wonder it's my favorite. Okay. <laughs> This is what I have for you right now, Beauty Nistas. I'm sorry if I seem to be all over the place. Um, to be honest with you, this week is my baby doll's birthday week. Um, she will be five. She will be five. And I am getting emotional because I never thought I would be a mother. Um, I've dealt with infertility for 15 years. And my husband and I have been married for 15 years. And when at the time when I conceived her, I truly have given up all hopes of becoming a mother, a biological mother. Um, and I was just moving on with my life and lo and behold, here she is. She's gonna be five. And anyway, so my head is all over the place because I'm just filled with awe about being a mother, filled with awe and gratitude that she's here in my life and she's turning five. Holy moly. So, for those of you who have not seen my video with my daughter putting on makeup, I'm gonna put a link below or put it as a video response. And also, I want to welcome new subscribers. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by my channel and subscribing. And I hope that you would interact with me like this video and if you want a, a tutorial, a quick tutorial on how I get this look, let me know, put it down in the comments and you know what? I love to communicate with you. I read every single comment and I actually reply to every single comment except for the ones in the giveaways. Um, otherwise, I always write back because I just love the interaction. So please do and I also do have a Facebook page and I would love for you to Join me at Facebook, which is Super Hit Mama. And that's all, guys. I will talk to you soon. Bye.